Hello everyone, we are Pandora Bots. Thank you for choosing us and warm welcome to your sixth tutorial in chatbot development with AIML 2.0. In previous video, we learned about rendering images and videos in your chatbot. In this video, let's try to integrate cards and carousels. Without wasting any time, let's dive in. So what are cards? Instead of looking at theoretical definition, I would like to show you a picture of it. As you can see, there is a picture of this cute dog with a title and subtitle text. There are two buttons here. So all these things wrapped together is called one card. Why is it important? Well, the simplest answer could be for the better user experience. Consider a scenario where your bot decides to work as a pizza delivery bot. After asking something like, do you serve any pizza? Imagine our bot replies with a card having a title, its price, its picture, how awesome it would be. So let's actually build it. We'll head back to our tab. We'll go to Sarka bot, edit, and I'm going to create new AIML file. I'm going to name my file as richmedia04 and I'm going to hit create file button. Let me grab a category tag with the pattern be something like Under the template tag, I'm going to insert card. Okay, now card came up with bunch of tags. As you can see, there is image tag, title tag, subtitle, and there are three buttons out here. For this example, I'm going to stick with just one button. So I'm going to delete both these two. For the image, I have a very special image. Now this is a pizza image. Look how beautiful it looks. I'm going to grab a link and I'm going to paste it over here. Also, I'll keep a link in the description. For the title, I'm going to write something like and for the subtitle, how about make sure you don't forget your taxes. For the button, I'm going to write For the post back, how about VS order, which means Veg Supreme order. Now, as you have guessed, for this post back, we have to catch it somewhere. So, we have to get another category tag with the pattern. And for the template, I'm going to write. Awesome. Let's save it and let's see if it works. Awesome. It looks super amazing. And if we hit order now. Okay. I almost forgot. I missed an E. Let's try to save it. Now let me take a short diversion on cards and let me explain wildcards. If you have tried asking a question with a question mark, then you would have seen that it doesn't work as expected. To add a question mark or anything of that sort, we will add star wildcard. But the problem with language processing is that we do not know how user will enter its input. There might be a case where there is a space in between or there might not be. So if we try saving it. It would fail. In another words, star wildcard will accept one or more words in user input. Whereas if we will introduce a new wildcard called as caret wildcard, which would accept 
zero or more words in user input. Now we will try to save it and let's see if it works. And if we give a space in between, last word and the carrot, it would still work. Now let's get back to carousels. As you have guessed, carousels are more than one cards together. We are supposed to be making a pizza menu. We want to display more than one pizzas together. So for that, we will use carousels. Now let me close it and I'm going to create a new file for this. I'm going to name my file as and let's hit create file. I'm going to close the fourth and let me grab a category. So for the pattern, let me write something like and for the template, I'm going to grab carousels. Okay, so carousel came with two cards together. Again, for this example, I'm going to stick up with just one button. And I'm going to delete this as well. And instead of three cards, how about two cards? For this image, I am going to grab image again and I have another image for the title we'll write with the subtitle of and text we like For the second one, the cheese pizza, and let's keep it a little bit cheaper. With the text, be like post back. Now, as there are two buttons with two post back, I have to create two more categories to capture these post backs. For the first pattern, I'm going to write, let me actually copy it down. And All right, looks good. Let me save it and let's see if it works. It came with a button. And if we hit on with Supreme Order and the cheese pizza order. Awesome, it worked. Well, I'm going to end this tutorial right here. Thank you guys for watching. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing. Above all, keep loving Pandora Box.